Hi, my name is John Platero, and I'm the CEO of the National Council for Certified Personal Trainers. And I'm here in front of one of my favorite machines called the Multi-Hip. And as, it's, as the name indicates, it's a hip machine. The hip is a joint, so this is basically a joint axis machine that you use for your hips. But today, we're going to do a little trick, and we're not going to work the hip joint. We're going to work the knee joint. I'm going to show you something called terminal knee extension. And this is especially important for any clients that you might have that have no or don't have an ACL or they've repaired their ACL. Okay? So now, one of the major kind of uh, disputes uh, you'll hear in the physical therapy field is whether the knee extension machine is a good machine for the knee specifically ACL repair patients. Some say it is, some say it isn't. However, the way I look, I look at things common sense because I'm just a trainer. The ACL prevents the tibia from translating forward on the femur. So when you do a leg extension and the pads down here, hitting down here at the bottom of your ankle or at the top of your ankle, the pad is hitting down here, it forces this out. So when you're doing a knee extension, it's putting stress on the ACL that prevents this from sliding forward. So the ACL prevents anterior translation on the femur. So when you do a knee extension and the pad pushes, it's taking this end further out. And then as the weight gets heavier, as the leg extension gets further and further away from the, the axis of rotation, it gets actually heavier and it's trying to push this bone down, which means this end is pushing up. So it's contraindicated to do a knee, in, knee extension or some physical therapists feel it's contraindicated to do a knee extension with an ACL repair patient or someone that doesn't have an ACL. So, for most physical therapy patients, it's contraindicated to use a knee extension, especially going all the way up straight. So, the way you can work the quad without putting stress on the ACL is using a multi-hip, and it's called a terminal knee extension. So now, since here's the axis, since I'm not aligning this, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna work this knee. So the way you do that is you put the pad down and you make sure the pad is above the knee. So this one's a little, little too high. So I'm gonna change the pad. So now I basically, I have my knee bent and the pad behind the knee. You can see it's not across the knee. It's basically in my hamstring. And then you just put weight on that leg and then extend the knee. So you bend and squeeze your quad. Bend, squeeze your quad. It's a good way to start strengthening the quad for people who have this ACL condition or problem. Plus you have the weight of your body going longitudinally through the axis of the bone so it gives it more stability. Pretty cool, huh? For those of you who don't have the multi-hit machine, you can use an ab strap and just a tube. So I've just wrapped that tube around, I anchored it around something stable, put this ab strap over my leg, and there's your terminal knee extension. Now remember, this isn't an exercise to bulk up or to get ripped. It's an exercise to get the quad to start firing for someone who's been injured or had an ACL surgery. That's what this is for. So you're just getting the quad to fire. Now you could use some other kind of uh, cuff or something like that that you can find, no problem. But it's as simple as that. Always have good posture. And that's called a terminal knee extension.